Hi, I'm Sandra from the Powell River Public Library where I facilitate the Memoir Writing for Seniors program. And I'm reading A Slice of Life today, a short memoir from writer Brenda Allen. You may know Brenda if you uh, are local in Powell River um, as uh, one of the um, library staff. And, uh, or also from around town, she's one of the award-winning Dragon Boat Racers, uh, among many other hats and titles and roles that she uh, has, but she's also a writer. So this story was published in the 2016 ebook uh, called Taboo, a memoir anthology, and it's titled A Small Rebellion. I hesitated slightly before pushing the door open. A misgiving or two flitted through my thoughts, but I just let them fly by. My decision had been made. This was the day. Usually I would discuss things I was thinking about or planning to do with my friends or husband. Not this time. This was mine and mine alone. Yes, age was a big factor, even though I tried not to focus on the number, 50. I mean, it's easy to be flippant until there it is, staring you in the face. It loomed large. I didn't think I was having one of those cliched crises, but maybe. Crossing over the age line seemed to bring along with it perceived limits. Skirts too short, hair too long, behavior too wild. Sometimes there was a subtle reference in a conversation. Other times, a blatant remark. But there they were, and it all bothered me. I had become hypersensitive and noticed each raised eyebrow and downturned mouth. As I walked through the door of the tattoo parlor, a delicious wave of rebellion swept through me. I shouldn't be there. Was I bucking Catholic guilt or societal pressure? The only other people I knew with tattoos were my kids, some of the art students at the college where I worked, and bikers. I wondered if my eldest son felt the same way I did when he got his tattoo. In his case, he would have been pushing against the perceived parental dis displeasure. For him, getting tattooed was making a statement. I am my own person. His common sense came through when he decided to place the tattoo where it could be covered by a sleeve. And in fact, my husband and I didn't know about his new body art until a few days after it had been done. When he pushed up his sleeve at the dinner table one evening, we gasped and then stared. On the top of his left arm was a seven inch green scaled dragon, intricately drawn in ink. Our daughter, on the other hand, had planned her tattoo for months before she turned 18. We would not give parental consent before she was the legal age. My husband didn't like the idea of his little girl having a permanent mark etched on her skin. Interestingly, the design she chose to have prominently placed on her left shoulder was of a Scottish thistle from his ancestry. The artwork for my tattoo caught my eye as I was going through a book on prayer. Two lilies intertwining in a circle. I went back to look at it again and again, thinking of the lilies in the murals my sister and I had seen in Mexico. By this time, she had already been gone six years, and the loss still was sharp as the cut of a razor. She hadn't made it to the age of 50. I emailed a copy of the Lily design to the shop to see what was possible, and my impending tattoo artist, Amy, said yes, she could enlarge it and add color. So here I was in the waiting room, heart pounding, on the way to the storefront, I had wondered what I would say if I saw someone I knew. Would I have admitted where I was going? Then Amy came down the hallway to get me. She was petite and polite with multicolored sleeve tattoos. We chatted as she sat up and I learned she was the mother of two. So where are we putting this? She asked. I had decided to place it on my upper left thigh. I wanted to be able to see it myself 
but have it be not too visible. She swabbed the spot as if for surgery and laid out her inking needle. Ready? Ready, I said. I braced myself, not only for the expected pain, but also for the reality that this was a forever mark. The machine started a whir, like a dentist's drill, but within a few seconds I relaxed, the, sens the sensation feeling much more like a cat's claws kneading my leg. As she bent over my body, working on the design, I saw that this was my personal ritual and permanent signature to mark an entry into the next stage of my life. I was happy with my decision. I would worry about my husband's reaction later. That's A Small Rebellion by Brenda Allen. Thanks very much.